All right, the number four reason that you need a WordPress website is it's an opportunity to get leads, right? So if you have a website, we already talked about, you know, the opt-ins and all those things with your blog, okay? Well, those people that come onto your list, some of them are also going to be leads for your business depending on how they came onto your list, right? So maybe they're asking for a guide, a checklist, a video series, uh, anything like that, okay? They might actually be a lead and not just somebody coming onto your list, and there's a difference between somebody that's a blog subscriber, for example, and somebody that's asking for a home buyer checklist, right? The blog subscriber is just somebody going to your list. The home buyer checklist, though, that's a lead. And that's how you can get leads, you know, with your WordPress site. You can also, like on my site, my WordPress website, nicholascarpenter.com, you'll notice that I have a strategy session offer in the footer of my, of my um, all the blog posts. And so when somebody's going there, they're reading the blog about, you know, a couple times a week, people decide to fill out that strategy session form on the footer and actually get on the phone and talk to me about how I can help their business. And so the same thing can happen for you if you have a WordPress website.